everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So as you know, recently I did a few videos on the topic of modesty and it has been something that has been coming to my mind and heart so strongly recently. And so I just figured I'd keep sharing the things that I'm thinking and feeling and coming across as I go because maybe it will help some of you too. <laughs> Anyway, I came to realize with modesty of dress, there were two different things happening that I was kind of getting mixed up. And although I do think that there are some overlaps, there are kind of two aspects of modesty in dress. The first is modesty in terms of being decent, providing coverage, and that type of thing, which I talked more about in my last video about modesty. And the other element is femininity. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I've heard numerous stories about women who were told that they couldn't do something because they were a girl or they felt like being a woman held them back in some way. And I have not had that experience at all. I, I really can't think of any time that I felt like I was deprived because I was a woman or anything like that. In fact, my experience is almost the opposite. I felt like throughout my life, I have been more ridiculed for the more feminine, girly type things that I liked or did or wore than anything else. So to provide you with an example of what I mean, uh, one of the earliest memories that I have in terms of anything having to do with femininity, especially in the way I dress, is um, I was in first grade, I went to a new school, and a lot of my friends were doing soccer. And I was not a sporty person. I played some sports just for fun with my dad and grandpa, just at home, but never competitively or anything like that. And I was very small. I was a lot smaller than all of the other kids. I was a year younger for my grade. And so I had every disadvantage when it came to being athletic, but my friends were doing it and I thought it would be fun. So my parents signed me up and I arrived at my first day of soccer practice and I remember everybody laughing and making fun of me. And even to this day, some of the people there that I'm friends with still remember this happening and they still laugh. And now they're a little nicer about it. They're like, oh, you were so cute. But at the time when people are laughing at you, you know, it, it hurts your self-esteem a little bit as a little girl who doesn't understand anything yet. And, and so basically what happened was I arrived to soccer practice wearing my coat and hat, but my coat and hat were very girly in their style. It was kind of a longer dress coat and my hat was a little beret with a cute bow on the side of it. And so it was kind of feminine, girly type of thing. And everybody else had very sporty clothes on, like a North Face style coat and more sporty type of hat. And now in hindsight, you know, maybe I wasn't dressed appropriately for the specific occasion, but I just, that's what I liked. I had my soccer uniform on under that and everything was fine. Uh, but after that day, I never wanted to wear that coat and hat. And I asked my mom to get me something different because it was obvious that I was very much standing out. And then over time, there were other things that were more feminine or girly that I was made fun of for, like being a cheerleader. And so maybe it was just the community that I lived in. They placed a high emphasis on sports, but I preferred dancing and more like girlier types of things. I did like sports. I did play basketball and some other stuff, but I also had a feminine side to myself all right, so anyway, one day in high school, it was Lent, and I wanted to think of something very creative to do for my Lenten promise. And I had this thought that came to me, and this it, it just felt like it was this call on my heart, more so than a thought of my own, uh, to wear skirts and dresses only throughout Lent. So no pants, no jeans. And I thought, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And secretly, I thought, is this kind of a cop-out? Cause that's so easy. Like I don't even have to give anything up. Um, but I thought, well, whatever, I'll do it anyway. That way it's a really easy Lenten promise that I know that I'll be able to keep. I lasted two days, two days. And then it was like a weekend. Um, 
Yeah, that's right, because it would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It was like a Friday. I was going somewhere with friends, and I thought, well, I can't go there not wearing jeans. I would look so out of place, and I gave it up right away. And it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I thought, wow, I'm surprised at how hard that actually was. So that happened in high school. And then years later, now that I'm a mom and stuff like that, I started to notice some of the most devout, faithful Catholic women that I knew from church and stuff, they would wear skirts and dresses only every time I saw them. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And I know a lot of times very conservative, like non-denominational, non-Catholic Christians tend to wear skirts and dresses exclusively too. And so I thought, well, I wonder what the logic is here behind this. And so I started researching it and came across the book Dressing with Dignity by Colleen Hammond along with her interview online. And I was so surprised to hear all of this information and it did provide me some insight as to why a lot of women would dress this way. And the call on my heart just felt more and more strong. But it's been so hard to just go with it. I feel like there's part of me that's fighting it, that's resisting it, that's trying to find something to disprove that I should dress like that. And the more that I'm researching, the more that it just seems like the right thing for me to do. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with wearing pants. Um, I'm not saying I'm judging anybody who wears pants. Do not take it that way at all. But what I am saying is it is something to research and consider so that you can make an informed decision on your own about our way of dress in light of the fact that we are believers in Christ. Pants have become this symbol of the feminist women's rights movement that we are seeing today. Now, I am completely in favor of women being empowered and dignified and strong and treated with respect, of course. But, and this could be a whole other video in and of itself, but the whole movement, you know what I'm talking about, that we are seeing right now, this war against women. They're saying that they're fighting for women, but not really because, well, there's many reasons. So anyway, that's <laughs> for another day. But in, in terms of that whole mindset and mentality, uh, they're trying to say that pants kind of represent that. Pants have started to become kind of this symbol of that, at least here in the United States, that Women are working, women are like men, women are tough. Of course women are tough, of course women can work. But you know what I'm saying in terms of this feminist movement thing that's happening. But then in my own life, as I've started to begin to wear dresses and skirts more frequently, I notice a change in my behavior. I become more graceful, more poised. And I find in my own personal life that it just gives me a greater awareness of what I'm doing, my mannerisms, how I'm moving, what I'm working on. So I think it's very helpful for me being a stay-at-home mom with my family. Now, one argument that people have is how can people get things done in a skirt? Jeans are simply more practical. And that's what I thought for a very long time. But I happen to live near an Amish community and all of those women wear dresses all the time. And they are more physically hardworking than any other women I know in the English world, as they call it. Um, they're on their knees scrubbing floors. They're outside doing yard work. They're doing all kinds of things in dresses. They're not complaining. They're not tripping on themselves. They are getting by just fine. And so if they are able to do that, if women in history were able to complete all the tasks that they needed in skirts and dresses, why can't I? That is a lie that has been told to us, that you can't do yard work in a skirt, that you can't exercise in a skirt. Now, of course, it depends on the particular skirt 
or dress that you are wearing. And they do have companies that cater toward women who do dress this way exclusively. And there are exercise skirts and things like that that you can get that are specially designed for those more unique types of situations. And I think that's why we see a lot of women wearing the long denim skirt because they are made out of a very durable material and they can withstand a little bit more than maybe a thinner type of spandex polyester type of material that we often see clothes made of. So anyway, I do think that there is a lot um, to be said about wearing skirts and dresses exclusively or if you do wear pants to have a top that provides a little bit more coverage, which fulfills the modesty standard of pants. But as I'm sharing all of this, just know that it is way more easily said than done. Growing up, I wore dresses for fancy occasions and then I would wear like a more casual dress here and there. And actually the reason that I stopped wearing dresses on a day-to-day -day basis just randomly because I liked them was because I was made fun of for wearing dresses and that was not the cool thing to do where I was from you had to wear shorts or pants and then a shirt you know and I realized I should not have let other people's opinions dictate my way of dress or my preferences that was absolutely terrible but I was a little kid and that was years ago and now I've learned and understand things and um, have learned to love myself better and not care about those things. But at the time I did. And um, so my whole life I've worn the same clothes you see everybody else wearing. Um, but now since I do feel this call for whatever reason so strongly on my heart, I am trying to go with it and listen because I don't fully understand it. Uh, but I feel that God is, I don't want to say speaking to me, but telling me to do this, not in words, but you know, I just, I have this constant feeling that I'm supposed to be doing this. And so I should roll with that. But like I said, easier said than done. Just the other day, my last pair of pants that fit ripped. And so I'm down to zero pants, one pair of denim shorts. And I wear those denim shorts that probably technically are immodest every single day unless I'm going out or to church or something like that. So I am by no means the expert, the amazing demonstrator of this at all. I'm just a mom, just a regular person like anybody else who is trying, who is seeing some things and thinking maybe I need to make a change, who feels a call on her heart, my heart, and it's really hard and I want to resist it for some odd reason. And, and who knows, it might not be forever. I don't think I have to make a decision about what I wear that lasts an eternity. But um, right now it's something that I feel like I'm being called and, and pushed in the direction of. And so I just wanted to make this video in case any of you are experiencing similar thoughts and feelings that I am, that you're not alone in that, that it is a struggle a little bit, a little bit of a process journey type of situation and that's okay. I think as long as we keep diving deeper into scripture to find out, well, what does God say about this? What does the Bible say about this? When you read about the lives of saints, they're always pushing modesty and femininity for women. And while we're on the subject, I do think it's important for men to dress modestly and also in masculine ways too. But I'm speaking right now for the women because I am one. And um, so that's all for right now. I just wanted to share a little bit of that on my journey of having a more feminine way of dress and so let me know if you have gone through this too and what your thoughts are do you think that pants are some sort of symbol in any type of way or send off a certain message or do you think that's not the case whatsoever at all i'm interested in hearing what you think so be kind in the comments though i know this topic can be heated just be kind to one another and, um, and understanding and just have a healthy dialogue. I think that's so important with this, not to get mad or be too legalistic, 
but talk to each other, hear one another out, see, you know, what do you think? What do you think? What does scripture say? What did this person say? And to, to gather and gain a better understanding. So that's my hope for this. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, everybody. God bless. Bye. Thank you.